coming to the next entry control loop so here the next entry control loop is while loop and this while loop also uh, will be used for repeating the process number of times and when we are executing this while loop so this will check the condition first and if the condition is true then it will execute the loop otherwise the loop that is the loop will get terminated okay it won't execute the loop if the condition is false this is the syntax for while loop so this is how we should give while loop with the keyword while and after this while keyword we have braces and inside this braces we have the test condition that is to be evaluated so based on the result of this test condition the body of the loop will get executed if it is true this body of the loop will get executed otherwise it will uh, this loop will get terminated without any execution okay so what are all the steps involved in this uh, while loop means first it will evaluate the test condition okay first we have to evaluate the test condition if this test condition becomes false then the loop terminates right so it won't enter into the loop the loop gets terminated but if the test condition is true okay then it executes the loop so whatever the statement that is present inside this body of the loop so that statements will get executed if the test condition is true now after executing this body of the loop again the test condition will get executed now based on the result of this test condition again it will decide whether it should execute the body of loop or it should terminate the loop okay so this happens until the condition gets satisfied okay until the condition is satisfying we have to execute the body of the loop once the condition becomes false then we have to terminate the loop that is the loop will get terminated here and one more important note that we should keep in mind when we are writing this while uh, condition i mean while loop is when this test condition is never becoming false okay then what happens this while loop will get executed infinite times right in for loop we are using for loop and if we if we don't give any condition okay for how many number of times the loop should get executed if it is not specified then the loop will get executed infinite number of times in the same way when the test condition is never uh, getting failed okay if the uh, condition never fails then what happens this loop will get executed infinitely infinite number of times this is the flow chart for uh, while loop so initially we are going to check the condition here when the condition is true then the body of the loop will get executed after executing this body again the uh, control moves to while condition again it will check for condition so based on the result if it is true it executes body of the loop again then the control moves to condition if the condition becomes false then it will terminate the loop okay so uh, the main difference that we have for for loop and while loop is as specified in for loop we can give uh, how many number of times the loop should execute okay we can give that count we can give that number so for example the loop should get executed for 10 times or the loop should get executed for 5 times that the user can uh, give uh, as input like how how many number of times the loop should get executed but when we are going for while loop so we don't know exactly the, uh, how many number of times the loop get executed because based on the condition satisfaction only the loop get executed for n number of times right so we don't know until uh, how many uh, i mean how many number of times the loop will get executed so we don't know exactly in while loop at that situation only we are going for this while loop statement this is the example for while loop and starting with header file then main function inside main function we have declaration so where we are assigning the value for i in the declaration statement itself that is we are initializing the value for i here after that we have a while loop and inside this while we need to check for condition and what we are going to check here whether i value is less than or equal to 5 so if this condition is true then this block will get executed otherwise the block will get terminated and it will comes to the next statement 
and uh, in this program what we are trying to do is we are trying to print values from 1 to 5 initially i value is initialized with value 1 then we are going to check whether value i is less than or equal to 5 so until the value becomes um, uh, 5 okay until the value becomes 5 this loop will get executed right and first value 1 is checked with 5 1 is less than or equal to 5 which gives us value true i mean the result is true here if it is true it, it will move to this block and inside this block we have a printf statement which will print the value of i now the value of i is 1 so first the output 1 will get displayed okay that will be printed after this statement we have i plus plus that is increment so once you increment the value of i here the value of i becomes 2 that is uh, coming to this while condition again okay after executing this block the condition will again move i mean the control will move here again now the i value is becoming 2 then the value 2 is checked with 5 that is whether 2 is less than or equal to 5 again the condition is true if it is true then it prints the value of i now the value of i is 2 then again it will increment to 3 so condition checking condition 3 is less than or equal to 5 which is true then it prints the value 3 now i value becomes 4 and it is checked with 5 again it is true so it prints the value 5 4 now i value gets incremented to 5 then again it is coming to the condition 5 less than or equal to 5 so which is true if it is true it prints the value of i that is 5 after printing the value now i value gets incremented to 6 now coming back to the while condition it checks whether 6 is less than or equal to 5 which is false if it is false then it will terminate this loop right and if you see here inside this while loop i have used i plus plus because to increment the value of i okay in for loop directly in for loop we just have that uh, update statement that is where we have done the increment but here in while we have only condition statement we don't have any update statement inside this while right so for that purpose i'm using i plus plus here if you don't use i plus plus here then what happens okay means if you don't use this i plus plus your i value will never change throughout the program so always i value remains one if always i value is one what happens this will uh, the condition will always be true and the loop will not uh, terminate right which means here this while loop will execute for n number of times always your i value is one so always the condition is getting satisfied always it is giving the value true if it is true it will go for the printf statement so it will print one again it will go for this while again the value is one only it will check for condition it is true then it prints value one again again it will go again it prints one so like this it happens and it will print the value one for infinite number of times okay so that is why i am using this i plus plus here that is i am incrementing the value of i here it is not necessary that you should always use only i plus plus since i want to increment value one by one to print values between one to five i'm using this i plus plus also you can give an assignment statement like i is equal to i plus one which also gives the same meaning i plus plus and i equal to i plus one will also gives the same meaning both use the same meaning you can either use this or you can use this or even you can use this pre increment i plus plus i okay so these three gives the same meaning so which will print value from one to five you can also use some other statements like i is equal to 2i but if you give this assignment statement instead of i plus plus you won't get values from 1 to 5 instead your output varies first it will print 1 then it will print 2 then it will print 4 so it will print only the values 1 2 and 4 right so based on uh, the expression you are given here the output will get displayed this is for while loop.